Hey everybody and welcome back to the Laravel 5.5 new features from the Dev Marketer channel. Okay, today I'm excited to show you our fifth video of this 14 video series. And in this video, we're gonna talk about another minor feature, but one that's important to talk about, collection dumping. There's actually two new methods available for collections. For those of you guys that don't know, collections are extremely powerful objects in Laravel. They have access to tons and tons of tools of methods as you can see here. Um, that let you do all sorts of cool stuff basically with a almost like a super array. It's like an array, but it's like super enhanced. It's got all these cool methods available to it, but it's actually handled as an object. Now, there's lots of things that get returned as collections in Laravel, but the most important one, the ones you use what's probably the most are actually your eloquent objects. So when you go to the database, you get something back. What you get returned back is actually a collections object, and all of these methods are available to you. Now, I will link these in the uh, description below if you want to go take a look at these but you can see kind of some of the functions that are here now the two that are new with this are the dump and the die dump and those are two new collections um, methods that'll help you basically better debug a lot of situations where you're chaining lots of methods together all right so what I've done for you guys here just to make things a little faster in the video because I don't wanna to focus too much time on this feature. It's an important one to know, but it's not like worth 10 minutes of your time. Um, so what I've done here is I have actually, inside of our routes file, inside of the closure for this route, I've gone ahead and we're just collecting all of the posts that are in our post table. And then we are running some collection methods on that, what got returned. So basically on all of that, we get a re uh, collections object back and then we're running some of the collection methods on it just kind of for fun. Now you guys might be familiar, we have this DD die dump method that is available. This is a helper function that is available throughout anywhere in Laravel. And this basically takes whatever's inside of it, dumps it to the uh, back to the screen. So if we take a look at this here, you can see what I've done is we've taken this post, which is all of our posts, and then we've um, sorted in de descending order by ID. So we're gonna get a reverse order by our ID column. And then we've also filtered, this is another method, and then we've grabbed only the featured ones. Now I have added in here, just to show you real quick, inside of our migrations, I added a new migration between videos. We now have two more columns. We have user ID column and a featured column, just so we could play with these a little bit more. Okay, so here we go. We've grabbed only the ones that are featured, and then we've chunked it in groups of five. So I've got this kind of chain of commands. It's kind of random, but you you might have other commands that are more useful. And you, you find yourself sometimes chaining these collection methods together. Now, when we get here, if I go over to the browser and we refresh everything, you can see that we've got basically a collection of four or sorry, an array of four collections inside of here is groups of five because they were chunked together. Okay, so this shows us our final result of what we've been working on. But this often happens when you're working with complex uh, you know, collection chains and stuff like that in your Laravel projects, you get this end result, this might not be what you wanted, and you don't really know where things went wrong. And that's where the dump method comes in handy. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna get rid of the function here, and I'm, we're actually just gonna interject the dump methods in between each of these to help with our debugging process. So for example, if I add the dump method here, what you'll see is we're actually only going, we're taking the post, we sort in descending order by ID, and then we dump it to the user. So if I uh, come back over to Chrome and refresh, you see we have 40 items in our array. There's uh, They're in reverse chronological order by ID, but we haven't done anything further with them because we dumped it at that point. Okay, so we still technically, if we dumped it at the end, you could see the chunked data just like we had before. So we'll have the first one that we dumped out, then we have the second one, and these are the ones that have been chunked together. And if we wanted to see what happened after we filtered it, we could add a dump method there. This makes debugging just a little bit easier when you're trying to figure out where things went wrong. Because now we know that this first one is where things were sorted chronologically, that looks good. Then we can look at the next one here. This is where we we took that list, we filtered it by um, the featured posts. So these are only the posts that are featured. And then this final one here is the chunked items where they were chunked out and collected. So 
basic, basic thing. Just want to show you guys that it exists and that you have that available to you. Now, keep in mind at any point, if you switched out one of these dump commands for a DD or die dump, what's going to happen is it actually stops execution. So here we get the first one. The second one we stopped at. So just keep that in mind as well. That yet Those are your two options. This will actually halt the execution of everything else when you do the die dump command. But those are the two new collection command methods that we have available to us, dump and die dump. So they can be particularly helpful when you're debugging. So hopefully that's something that if you run into problems in the future, you can remember back to this video and remember that there's a way to get over that problem. So hopefully that's useful for you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. We're gonna talk about another really cool feature called pa package auto discovery. And that'll be in the sixth video, the next video in the series. Package auto discovery is gonna make your lives a lot easier. You guys will see what I mean when you check out the next video.